guys, welcome back to uh, AH Bespoke, it's Andy. Um, today it's just a quick project. Um, I, uh, my dad has very graciously lent me his angle grinder, which is great, um, and it, the machine is absolutely amazing. Makita, good make, needs a good clean mine, but um, I'll do that in a minute as well. Um, however, it doesn't come with a handle, and when you're holding something that big, it's, you need a handle, quite frankly. It's, there's too much power, too much kickback to be having your hand too close to the uh, blade. So, um, my plan is to make a handle for it. Now, it's going to be a nice, easy, quick project. I'm going to turn the handle out of this piece of wood as a piece of oak I believe looks like it yep um, so you're gonna get this in the lathe center it up um, round it off then for the fitting I have a uh, big old coach bolt it's actually screwed into the right depth so that's the the depth of the uh, the hole that it needs to go into so idea being I'm going to drill through uh, the handle um, pop the bolt through um, and obviously cut off just before the end there. Uh, make a little recess for the nut and the end for the bolt and then um, a bit of epoxy to uh, give it that final uh, solid um, so it ain't going nowhere. Um, at least that's the plan. Um, now I kind of want, I don't want that sticking out the top so I'm going to recess that quite a, a way bit. I don't want a, a dip, so I'll sand that off. But um, yeah, I just don't want it um, poking up. So I'm, I'm going to try and avoid that at all cost. Um, so first plan, I'm going to mark this up um, on the block, on this block, just so I've got a, a rough guide. Um, Trip it up on the, um, on the lathe, and then we'll get started. All right. Thanks guys for watching. Um, I know it's uh, it's not a an arty project as such, but it's something um, that I need to get done. So, and I thought you guys might be interested at least um, for a, maybe a reference for yourselves if you ever had to make this kind of thing for yourselves. Um, at least you've got not a guide, but um, a rough idea of a how I've done it. Um, perhaps a suggestion for yourselves now they're probably uh, I could go into like putting grip tape on it and all sorts of stuff like that but quite frankly it's an angle grinder and it's gonna get covered in all sorts of stuff tarmac concrete um, slab dust and all sorts of stuff so quite frankly there's not a whole lot of problem or I don't have a problem with just having a wood handle and I'm pretty sure uh, my dad won't either he'll be just pleased he's got a handle so um, yeah, we'll get cracking. I'll get you on the lathe um, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, cheers, guys.
Okay, so got the bit in the drive. Let's go for it. Instead of the bench, I thought I'd just leave it, leave this here. It's uh, an awful lot easier than tidying up my bench at the present time. I've got too many projects on the go. So, what I'm going to do is start with the bottom. Drop the bolt in. Cut round it. Draw round it, rather. Okay, there you go. I haven't measured this out on that bolt, this bottom bolt, to sit flush with that. So I only need to go down 10 mil with that one. However, top end I need to go down quite a bit more than that. Probably about 20 mil or so. So using my tools to hand. So, also made it uh, like just literally rounded off a little bit of a plug. I'll fit that in there, get that epoxied in as well. Um, put the nut on. I'll do that now. Now I was trying to do this all in one hit, record this all in one hit, so you could see that A, I'm not testing this until I put this on the angle grinder. So, 
I know that the bolt fits, so that's the main part. So it should sit flush. Welcome back to uh, the uh, final showing. Um, handle's done. I've given it a coat with brass paint, uh, car paint, uh, just because I've given it a coat of something. Um, it's going to get worn off, um, certainly with the work that we're going to be using the angle grinder for. So it's essentially. Um, just to make it look nice on presentation um, so you can see that screw straight in lock tight perfect cross thread it and that Perfect, so that's nice and tight. So, there you go. Pleased with that. And hopefully, my dad is too. I'll let you know um, when I give it back to him. Um, thanks for watching. Um, and thank you guys for subscribing. Really appreciate the support. Um, it's, obviously, as I've said before, it's not my usual thing. Um, but I figured, well, someone might find it useful, uh, at least take the basic idea of, of that and um, you can adapt it for your own uses. Um, however, I'd always suggest that you check your safety manuals first when using all of the equipment um, and don't take this as gospel. This is not um, the way to be doing it. The best way would be go and buy one. However, I prefer to make stuff, so hence why I've made this. Um, yeah, thanks ever so much, guys. Um, as I say, if you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe um, and share, share. And um, yeah, thanks ever so much. Uh, for anybody who is still doing sticker things, I have got my kayak, which I still hope to cover with stickers. So if you have your own maker's um, sticker, um, it'd be great to get in touch. Um, if you comment below, I'll send you my email and we can um, sort details out that way. Um, really appreciate that. Um, and thanks again. Hopefully we'll have another video up, uh, possibly by the weekend. Um, but if not over the weekend, um, I will do... Uh, a short show reel if you like of some of the bits that I've done previous to uh, appearing on YouTube so um, yeah that should be interesting um, I'll get that edited and all that kind of stuff for you guys okay um, really appreciate it thanks ever so much guys cheers take care <laughs>